here in SWN, all in school starts on Monday. And who wants to go back to school already? I'm Kendall. I'm Anthony, and today is Friday, March 27, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Online school starts on Monday. Go to the Cal Allen ISD website under Families and then under E-Resources to get started. And packets will be available each Monday from 11.30 to 12.30 and from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. And I hope you all are ready at your email inboxes for your daily giveaway. Here's Riley with today's question. Thank you, Kendall. Today's giveaway is brought to you by Sullen Charm, your local home cooking restaurant. Today's question is, what new game was just released on Nintendo Switch? Be the first to email us at calentv at gmail.com to win. Back to you, Kendall. Seniors, many scholarship deadlines are due soon. The ones that were supposed to be turned into the counseling office will either be emailed or mailed to the appropriate scholarship contact. Your counsels are available to email or video chat if you have any questions. And we have a coronavirus update. As of March 25th, there are 14 confirmed cases in New Mexico County. Although most of those are travel-related, that does not mean that we should not be trying to stop the spread, so make sure to do your part. The city of Corpus Christi issued a stay-at-home order that started last night and will last for two weeks. With this order, you can still go to the grocery store to pick up any necessary items and go outside. Please remember to practice social distancing. And now Brody has our sports for us after this quick commercial break. Hey guys, for all you clubs and organizations out there, check out Diamond Cut Graphics for all your design needs for shirts and such. Thank you, Nathan, and good morning, Wildcats. Today's sports is brought to you by Diamond Cut Graphics for our design needs. Athletes are reminded to stay on top of your game, but to do so while adhering to the quarantine rules. No one is allowed to practice on school grounds. Good morning, guys. We're catching Coach Acosta and I here, and we are picking up the equipment that just came in. We're looking at new shoulder pads, new helmets that the players will be watching next year. Just freshly came in from UPS. Stay safe. Uh, stay safe and stay corona free, Cal Allen. Morning, Cal Allen TV. Just want to give you guys some exercises to help stay healthy and stay active. What you need to do here is get a warm up, get yourself a walk, do some jogging, even if it's in place, and then maybe do some jumping jacks, help get the body moving, and then we're going to do these exercises. You can either do these all at once or you can do them in sets of three. Just remember, stay up and stay moving, stay healthy. The first exercise we're going to do is body weight squats. I'm going to show you from two different angles. You don't want to go too deep and it's important to have your feet shoulder width apart. You want to do 8 to 15 reps of this. we're going to do is body weight lunges. It's important to not have your patella, your kneecap, go past your big toe. So I'm going to give you a side angle of this one. Make sure you're doing 10 of each on this exercise. We're going to do just a regular push up. You want to have your hands shoulder width apart and then you want to make sure you go down all the way. We're going to do 8 to 15 of these. So I'm going to show you the one, a regular going to parallel. And then 
also a modified one if you have trouble doing a regular push up. Doing these exercises is important to start out with one set. If one set's easy, add the second and then the third. Three sets should take you about 30 minutes. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water when you're doing these exercises. All right, you guys stay healthy. Well, that's the latest on Con Sports. Are you bored at home? Well, you shouldn't be. It's time to make the best chocolate chip cookies in the world. Let's begin. One and a half cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, whiskey business. Hold on to this, we'll use it later. Now in the supper bowl, three fourths a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, whiskey business, half a cup of melted butter, one egg, two and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, whiskey business. Take that flour mixture, but only put in half. Add that other half in. Whiskey business. One cup of chocolate chips. Now fold gently. We're gonna let that cool for 20 minutes. Preheat the oven to 350. After taking the cookie dough out of the fridge, you can start balling it up and putting it on your tray. Sure to leave plenty of space. Bake 12 to 15 minutes or until they're golden brown. Now let them cool and enjoy some chocolate chip cookies. Your book needs your help. Send photos of you and your prom formal wear for the Wildcat yearbook. They would love to see your selfies and poses sent to kalanwildcatter at gmail.com. They need these pictures this week for the deadline. So make sure you get those turned in. And now John has our weather for us. John, what's in store for us today? Today's weather is brought to you by Oh Goody Designs and Events. Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Friday to everybody out there. But that's enough of that. Let's get to the weather. So today we are going to be in the low 90s, going all the way down to the mid 70s, with winds coming from the south southeast, pushing very hard today with uh, 22 miles per hour as it goes on, with minimal chances of rain, and we are going to be partly cloudy today. So, on our regional radar, it looks like we are going to get some clouds coming from the southeast area, pushing towards us, but it looks like it's just going to go through, and it's going to break up later on throughout the day. So, for weather outlook, I'm going to do a little magic trick that you guys all saw from the last video, but yeah. Well, it looks like the magic trick worked once again, but right now it feels like we are in the low 70s, with some very low winds, and it is partly cloudy outside. And also, it feels really nice outside. Well, that's it from this side. Now back to the house. Well, it looks like the magic trick worked once again. But, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we are going to be at the low 90s, going all the way down to the low 60s, with minimal chances of rain, and we are still going to get some winds coming from the southeast, but they are still going to push them hard, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Before I go, I'd like to say happy Friday to everybody, and be safe out there during these times we are having. Well, that's it for me. Now back to you guys. And that's all we have from sports today, but now it's time for your joke of the day. So guys, why do the school kids eat the homework? I don't know, Nathan. What? Because the teacher said it was a piece of cake. <laughs> Just reminder for all you social media out there, make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Kylan TV for all the latest updates. Also, subscribe to us here on YouTube to catch all of our latest videos. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy Kylan.